Look, I cannot say that HDR gaming on the PC is 100% fixed and every single game is going to look perfect, but we couldn't be closer. <laughs> okay, thanks to this new Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix shader, I tested this in Hogwarts Legacy, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. Elden Ring, Neo 2, Forza Horizon 5, Forspoken is perfect. And the reason why this works so well is because it depends on the game. Look at the graph here. This is the black level race that this game has, which is a minor black level race, but it is definitely noticeable. Definitely noticeable. You go to the calibration screen where you're supposed to see perfect blacks and you don't have perfect blacks. The black level is race. So what this shader does is it identifies what is the black floor and it lowers that and it lowers that until it is perfect. So you see the line now. You are not losing any details. You are not crushing details. So you might think, man, if every single game has the same problem, that is too much of a coincidence. Maybe the problem is me, that <laughs> I am wrong, okay? You might think, it's like this joke that there's a guy <laughs> driving wrong way and he's listening to the radio and on the radio they say, oh, there's a maniac <laughs> on the freeway driving a wrong way, be careful. And, and then the drunk guy, he says, one, <laughs> there's like a thousand of them and he's the one that's wrong. So I truly, question myself man am i wrong because it cannot be that in my opinion every game looks bad because then I, I might be the one with the problem but it cannot be it cannot be because if you have a black screen look we, we go to the calibration screen on this game settings display a screen calibration on this calibration screen i see black level race of course i would need to turn off the lights but if you have this game tested this is not black and it is supposed to be black it is not look at the graph here i have to do this to get perfect black so it is not me the games are washed out they look bad okay it is not that because hdr is supposed to give you better shadow detail then we're just gonna raise everything no that that cannot be because when you raise everything you are washing out the picture and you're washing out the colors. For example, take a look at this. We come here to this corner and by default with the game uh, calibration, without me touching uh, the calibration with reshade, look at the colors. BT709, this is the SDR color space. 99%, so what this means is that almost in you know, all the colors on screen right now are SDR colors and it's, it is not supposed to be like that on HDR we are supposed to get DCI-P3 and, and these are bright light sources that are colorful light sources we de we're definitely supposed to get HDR colors okay because these games are designed on SDR the textures are SDR textures but the light sources, they have to definitely pop and change when we turn on HDR. Look what happens when I fix the black floor. Look at the color saturation. Boom! Suddenly, now I have DCI-P3, 16%, BD2020, 2%. Okay, so what that means is that now I actually have HDR colors on the screen. And it looks fantastic. The color saturation is amazing. I'm telling you, this is the best hdr i've ever seen in particular this game it just looks absolutely incredible i actually recorded a video an hdr video captured from my pc with my voiceover to share with you how good this game looks but youtube takes forever to release the games to release the videos on hdr it's just processing and it's like five days ago and, and i don't know when that's gonna be ready so <laughs> I want to share this uh, information. This game just looks absolutely incredible. But again, every single game that I tested, you just do this and it just works. So 
So now let me give you some considerations, okay? Because we do have some settings to tweak here. Let me share with you my experience testing multiple games. If the game has a visibility near black that it is very low, okay? And you don't want to lower that visibility near black. You want to get that brightness. For example, Elden Ring. On Elden Ring, you test this enable SDR black floor emulation and it might look too dark to you. But you still have black level rays on the game. And I didn't know that because Elden Ring actually looks good. Near black, it looks good. But there's still some ugliness, especially when you are on a cave. It looks gray. It doesn't look, you don't have perfect blacks on the screen, okay? But you don't want to lose that visibility, okay? Especially if you're scared of playing the game. So, what you can do instead of enabling this black floor emulation is you can just tweak the black level perfectly here. Enable black floor lowering and you can tweak this old black point to get the result that you want. And in that case, if you believe, let's say that you believe, okay, I don't want to change the creator's intent too much. I believe that this is how bright this is supposed to be based on the creator's intent. I don't want to change that. Okay, no problem. Instead of using this enable SDR black floor emulation, you can just lower this, you can increase this old black point. And in that way, you can make sure you have perfect blacks. Okay? So you lower that until you see minimum CLL zero. And when you turn that on and off, you cannot see a difference. You cannot see a big difference on the visibility near black. And you can actually change how much are you going to affect near black. So for example, here you have this roll off a stopping point. So what this means is how much are you going to affect? For example, roll off a stopping point right now would be 10 nits. I, I'm not using the setting, I'm not activating it. But for example, 10 nits, what that means is that this black level reduction once you reduce it it needs to roll off to smooth out the gradients so for example you cannot lower the black level in a certain percentage of the signal level and then suddenly just keep it the same it needs to roll off to give you a smooth gradient so you don't see a jump on the gradients okay so it is rolling off and it is going to stop rolling off at some point and just be as it was, just be as the creator's intent. So you can just lower this roll off a stopping point to one nit, one nit. And all you have to do is to crush enough so you get perfect blacks, you get minimum CLL zero nits. And in that way, you're using this shader and you're almost you're not touching the creator's intent at all. You're only getting, you're only making sure that you are getting perfect black so you get infinite contrast if you have an OLED, okay? That just makes sense. And no one can disagree with that. Even the most purest uh, you know, TV calibrator wouldn't disagree with that. If you have a, an OLED, which can give you perfect blacks, you're playing a game on the darkness, you are supposed to get perfect blacks, okay? If not, you are not getting infinite contrast, regardless of the creator's intent, that's wrong. That's just wrong. If that was a creator's intent, that's wrong. So this shader is going to allow you to get the best picture because the black level is the most important thing to get right, to fix the contrast of the image. The contrast on HDR should be higher, not lower. So if you open the game on SDR and near black looks better, it looks like it has higher contrast, it looks deeper. That's just unacceptable. <laughs> HDR should look at least the same near black or better. Better because when you are on the darkness and you see these black these light sources popping, you should definitely um, have a higher contrast. Okay? So give this a try. If you have a PC, I am using this on Windows 11. I'm not sure if this is going to work the same on Windows 10. It should, but Windows 10 have some uh, differences when it comes to reading HDR metadata, which by the way, when you use this shader, you are affecting the maximum peak brightness, the max CLL, you are changing that. Look, before 
the max CLL is 810 after the max CLL goes down to 666. So you are reducing, and you see it here on the line. You see before the black level is raised, also the max CLL is higher after the max CLL goes lower. Okay. So you have to adjust the in-game settings accordingly. If you have in-game settings or if you want to be more precise now with this new Lilium HDR shaders, we have an option that's called tone mapping. Lilium's tone mapping. You can use this tone mapping and say, okay, the max LL right now is, and you input that here. And then the target that I want is, and you input that here, and you can get exactly the target that you want. And we have different tone mapping options here. For this case, for example, in this game, I would recommend you to use dice because dice doesn't change the mid tones. It only affects the highlights. So what's gonna do is just push the brightness a little bit higher for the highlights and you're not gonna get any clipping. So you can use this to either reduce the max LL to your target if the game doesn't have sliders or you can use this to increase it also. It works the other way around too. So we can completely fix HDR with this new Lilium HDR shader. So we definitely have to you know, applaud the work that this man has done because this is so important. So important, especially if you are using a monitor. The monitors don't have settings. <laughs> and when you turn on HDR, you have no black level control, no nothing. So. If the source is messed up, what are you gonna do? It's gonna look terrible. Look at this, it just looks so good, man. Look at this red hair, it looks ferocious. It looks so saturated, so good. When you fix it, when you do this, it's, it's trash, okay? Before, after, it's just a monumental difference, especially if you have an OLED, but even on an LCD, this is just gonna be transformative transformative so I cannot recommend it enough this is a must if you have a PC Windows 11 uh, let me know if you test this on Windows 10 it should work but if you have a PC you have to have you have to download this Lilium shaders and you definitely give this a try because most games on the PC are washed out and this is such an easy solution like you don't even need to do any testing you just come here you download, look, download Reshade, download the Lilium shaders, link in the description of the video. You just have to come here, Lilium's HDR black floor fix, you check that box, you come down, and all you have to do is enable that Gamma 2.2. Look, enable SDR black floor emulation. You check that box, done, okay? You want to get deeper blacks, you increase this black floor, you increase this white point number. So the default white point number here is 80, which looks very good, okay? But if you want to get deeper blacks, look at the graph. You see, it is not, it is not as close to zero. So that's why I increase it. What I did is I increased this number. Let me show you. When I increase this, let me disable this. When I increase this, uh, white point Let me show you Okay, so it wasn't enabled so now with a white point in 80 Yeah, we're still getting the perfect blacks anyway, but you can increase this number to get deeper a uh, deeper blacks you see if you increase this white point It gets closer to zero, but you don't crush details. You don't crush any details before, after. You see all the detail near black is there, but increasing this white point number, what's going to do is it's going to give, get it even closer to zero. So if you want a little bit more visibility near black, you can reduce this white point to the default 80, maybe. But in this case, I like to increase it. But you can play around with this number to tweak the picture to your own liking. So this is just phenomenal let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions if you test this on a different game that i didn't mention here let me know i'm sure this is gonna work for almost every single game 
And what happens if the game doesn't have the black level rays? What happens if the game is actually very, very good? You see almost no difference. So for example, I tested this on Ratchet and Clank and there's almost no difference because that game has perfect blacks. So when you use this feature, you see just a minor, minor difference, almost the same. Okay. So that also confirms that near black SDR and HDR, they are supposed to look very similar. Okay, HDR, if anything, is supposed to have more information, more details, okay, not less. And when you have a washed out picture near black, you cannot see anything anyway. It looks terrible. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.